circulatory system that is the heart to make the concept easier today we will go with a technology called augmented reality it is nothing but the ar come let us explore with the 3d world the heart heart is present between two lungs towards little left heart is one of the vital organ of our body heart helps us in circulating the blood to all part of the body the length of the heart is 10 cm and moving on to the size the size depends upon the individual's left arm fist so this will be the size of the heart of mine so it depends upon the individual the weight the weight is 300 to 350 grams in an average it is the heart is covered by the pericardium its main function is to transport the blood to all part of the body per minute 70 ml of blood is pumped 70 to 72 times the heart beats in a minute per minute 5 liters blood is being pumped so in the circulatory system the heart is one of the major organ which plays a very 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 important role come let us explore with and how the mechanism of the blood circulation which takes inside the heart before discussing the circulation of the blood in the heart we will see the parts of the human heart the human heart has four chambers that is the right auricle right ventricle left auricle and the left ventricle these are the four chambers of the heart the auricles and the ventricles are being divided by two walls that is the tricuspid wall and the bicuspid wall we have two vena cava when i say the vena cava it is the large vessels when i say the vena cava it says that it is the large vessels so we have two large vessels that is the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava in the heart we have pulmonary artery and the pulmonary vein and at last we have aorta in the top we have aorta in the top which circulate the purified blood that is the oxygenated blood to all part of the body yes come now let's see the mechanism of circulation in the heart of the blood yes as i said earlier the two vena cava that is the superior and the inferior vena cava when i say superior the superior vena cava which brings the impure blood that is the deoxygenated blood from the head and the chest level and it is above the heart and when i say the inferior the inferior vena cava which brings the deoxygenated blood from below the heart level to the first chamber the first chamber of the heart is the right artery so when i say the right auricle the impure blood comes to the first chamber and it is been filled once when it is filled there is an automatic valve open that is the tricuspid valve opens the tricuspid valve opens from the right auricle it moves to the right ventricle that is the deoxygenated blood from the first chamber it moves to the second chamber that is the right ventricle here with the help of the pulmonary artery here is the only artery which carries the impure blood so from the uh, ventricle 
the impure blood is being transported to the lungs through the pulmonary artery so in the lungs the blood gets oxygen that is the blood is oxygenated and with the help of the pulmonary vein it comes back to the heart here is the only vein where it carries pure blood in, in all the other condition the vein carries impure blood so with the help of the pulmonary vein from the lungs the pure blood comes to the third chamber and that is the left auricle so the purified blood is going to the third chamber that is the left auricle and the blood is filled in that chamber once the chamber is filled again there is a valve which opens automatically that valve is called the bicuspid valve so the valve is open and the purified blood that is the oxygenated blood goes to the last chamber it goes to the last chamber so from the last chamber it should go to all part of the body that is with the help of aorta with the help of aorta the purified blood that is the oxygenated blood is being circulated to all part of the body this is all about the mechanism of circulation of the blood in the heart to make it very simple two valves that is superior and inferior vena cava bring back all the impure blood that is deoxygenated blood to the first chamber right auricle from the right auricle the tricuspid valve opens it goes to the right ventricle then with the help of pulmonary artery it goes to the lungs the deoxygenated blood get oxygenated the oxygenated blood with the help of pulmonary vein come back to the heart that is the right ventricle from there the bicuspid valve opens the bicuspid valve opens then it goes to the ventricle and from there with the help of the aorta the oxygenated blood is circulated to the all part of the body so this is all about the today's class in today's class we saw what is the circulatory system and the three major parts that is the heart the blood the blood vessels in that we saw the first part of the circulatory system the major part that is the heart that is one of the vital organ of the human body and that with the help of the ar technology we explore and make this concept more easier to understand so i think so with this technology the concept the of the mechanism of circulation of the blood in the heart made much easier to understand with the same technology we will meet in the next class and explore with the other two major parts that is the blood and the blood vessels thank you so much